Howdy, I'm Professor Curtis of Aspire Mountain Academy, here with more statistics homework help. Today, we're going to learn how to evaluate a data set for falsified data. Here's our problem statement. In the data table below, the X values are the weights in pounds of cars, and the Y values are the corresponding highway fuel consumption amounts in miles per gallon. Comment on the source of the data if you were told that car manufacturers supplied the values. Is there an incentive for car manufacturers to report values that are not accurate? Well, <laughs> I should say so, uh, because, you know, they, they know that customers are going to want a higher, higher fuel consumption rating for the, the money that they're going to spend on the car. And there's definitely an incentive there for reporting a higher a fuel consumption than what actually exists in the car. Now, you know, uh, my understanding of, you know, how this works, and I get this from somebody who actually worked in the automotive industry. He was somebody that I worked with when I was in industry. And I never worked for the auto industry directly, but this guy did for a while. And he was telling me that the people that actually, you know, run the tests on the cars, to compute the fuel consumption uh, ratings, they're actually, that's what they do. That, that's all they do. That's their job. And so they become very adept at knowing the little intricacies and nuances of how to operate the car so that you can boost the fuel consumption rating up, you know, a little bit there. So you always need to take the rating that is listed there on the sticker and just, you know, lower it a little bit, like maybe like two or five points. And then you'll have a more realistic uh, idea of what's actually going on there. Anywho, we're looking at here the source of our data, and that's the car manufacturers. So, yeah, there's definitely an incentive here. So, let's see. We've got two answers for yes. This one says consumers in general would prefer to buy a car with a higher level of fuel efficiency. In this case, the source of the data would be suspect. That matches exactly what we've been saying. Here the other yes option says consumers in general do not care about the weight of their car. In this case, the source of the data would be suspect. Uh, well, if the consumers don't care, why would the data be suspect? We're going to go with this one right here. Fantastic! And that's how we do it at Aspire Mountain Academy. Be sure to leave your comments below and let us know how good a job we did or how we can improve. And if your stats teacher is boring or just doesn't want to help you learn stats, Go to AspireMountainAcademy.com where you can learn more about accessing our lecture videos or provide feedback on what you'd like to see. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.